Hey, I'm playing a game of cat on my smurf. I've logged onto this account for ages. Can I try and get a diamond by the end of the season? Can I stop trolling with it? I've been shot by Lady Carrie Yasuo and I've been stuck in that one for ages. So I'm gonna get diamond by not trolling. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Wish I could put it so it automatically do it in LCS order. Wow, that amazing three man invade. Well, that includes me. Everyone expects a Blitzcrank invade though. You're never going to catch anyone by surprise with Blitzcrank. Wow, they just ruined Star Wars for me. Right, this is a Victor. Victor is traditionally a pretty fucking annoying lane for Cat. He just pokes you. He trades too well, and he's got teleport, so he's gonna not even gonna be able to poke him out of lane effectively. This is gonna be another like every game of Cat up to her nerves, just farm up and wait the mid game. I don't know. If he's really bad, I might kill him, but this isn't silver. This guy would probably know how to not stay in lane at 100 health, which is the only time Cat gets killed. Why? Because I can. Could get some nice ganks from Rengar, but I don't know. Rengar pre 6 ganks are a bit no inconsistent at best. I was one thing to do against Victor, don't stand in, it applies for so many champions, Zeke's or whatever, just don't stand in your minion wave and they can't push the lane and harass you at the same time. Just basic stuff like that, I always see people getting wrong. And look at that, he's he's going for the minion wave, not for me. Like if I stood in the minion wave, he could get off some free harass. Then you gotta back off here so I don't take any minion aggro. Minions do like as much damage as champions at level 1. Shit. See, I'll end up a bit poorly there. But it's hard to balance because I have to go for the CS at the same time. Shit. Well, at least if he's doing that, he's using up mana just to harass me, which is fine. This is a. I can't get that CS, that's just awkward. This is what I mean by Victor being a bit tough. He's pretty big lane bully. Shit, and see, he got the shield up. I thought the cooldown wouldn't be up in time, but he's actually getting pretty low. I think he's just planning to teleport soon. No going back. Oh shit! Wow! Fuck's sake! Second I go in, leaves there. That's really fucked over my lane. Way too hard for me to. Oh my god, I can't believe that. <sighs> Fuck, that's so bad for me. Victor's gonna teleport back to lane. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna be 5 CS down and an assist down. On a lane that's already really hard. I'm only gonna have one potion as well. This is like utterly fucked me up. If they get a kill top, alright, it's gonna be they're gonna be me just farming now, which is gonna be fucking difficult against Victor when Victor's got ahead. I don't know how I could have played that better. I was just so unlucky with Lee being. I don't know why Lee was even there. Like I was under my tower. There was no reason for Lee to be mid. That's one of the things playing about in lower elo can fuck me over sometimes. Just because no competent jungler would be there at that time. There was nothing to gain from sitting in that bush. That hitbox is bullshit as well. He didn't even teleport, so... I'm just gonna fall so far behind on this thing. Magic. He has no magic resist, which I could have killed him if it wasn't for that fucking Lee being awful and sitting in that bush. That was a really winnable lane. So 
da gut da rein, ist was machen. Ah, löst, aber ist okay, löst das Trade, weil sie ist gerade immer auf Kosten. That guy wants to start shit talking me, I could just leave the game because at the end of the day this is Smurf, it's his ear though. Oh, whatever. Oh, oh, oh. Victor's long mana at least. But the fucking thing is, if I trade with Victor hard, I don't really force my lane and just teleport back. Makes. His lane's fine if I don't get fucked over so hard by jungle pressure. This is the perfect time to let the room though. I really hate that Enoch. Oh fuck's sake, Lee's here again. Sure. There we go, that's what I want to fucking see. Didn't even have to use my knife. And Victor just used the teleport, so that's going to be a ton of pressure back for me. It's going to be a large rod. Victor still has no magic resist, so I'm going to have my ult ignite a large rod. I can fight this Victor ever so hard. That completely turns the game around. Even on CS, I've got two kills up on him now. He's got two assists, so he won't be stupidly far behind, but he hasn't got any magic resist in runes. Which is kind of a little bit hard. I'll be able to trade so well with this guy now. Only fools hesitate. It's a problem with Victor, if he gets even a slight bit ahead, he can shove me into tower constantly. Thank you, Ryan, thank you, Jesus. Oh, he's got that upgrade that massively increases his damage. Never play fair. No, that's way too low to do anything. I've made a choice. I wasn't even in lane yet, so we can't talk shit with me. Oh, come on! One more tower shot would have got him. At least so far ahead, I didn't think he'd be able to tower dive me. Rengar is still yet to do it. Come on, fucking. Oh! He better fucking pick up his victor. Oh, holy fuck, he missed! That was, I don't know, I guess I misplayed that. I really didn't think Lee would be brave enough to spray dive me. 
And I was I didn't I misplayed that. I should have jumped over the wall. I had a ward, I should have jumped over into uh, Raptors. I, was, I didn't think he'd go so heavy. Once I cleared the minion wave, I didn't think he'd still go in. I thought just clearing the minion wave would scare him off enough. I guess he's fed, so he's feeling pretty brave. I have a ton of room bot now. But, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get some deep wards in. Always like to do something, don't just stand at the tower. Lee, why are you such a bitch? Okay, yeah, that was... <sighs> I'm unlucky with the lane pressure here. Really? I left. Okay, I will kill you if you stay there again. What am I looting this now? Yeah, I'm not sure what the level is thinking there. That's my core bot. You don't already always rush the upgraded trinket when you hit level 9. Your level 9 back should be for a trinket uh, upgrade on every champion. It's the most OP thing in the entire game. Trinkets are just broken. I just managed to die solo to that. That hook convict is getting pretty obnoxious. An ally has been slain. This Lee is doing serious work. Uh, that means they're probably trying to steal our red. Means Victor's warded it. Your turret has been destroyed. Because I can. And what bits Frank's still doing there? Oh, that shit. Um, yeah, Rangar's being pretty... Apart from that, he did a decent play mid, but he's really getting out jungled hard. He's got two levels up, so at least he's farming, okay. I'm falling behind significantly in farm versus Victor. With no jungle pressure from Rangar and tons of map pressure from Lee, it's getting pretty hard to do much. Nice. Get something useful, so what you need to do is jungle. Victor has pushed up so hard about being punished for a long time. Now I should head down bot because we could potentially get a dive on Caitlyn. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm sorry, let's think. Gotta do something while you're oh, switching to tower, but clearing the pink's just as good. It's the best thing I can do at the moment. Especially because pink's. Getting rid of pink's is pretty important. Lee's getting a bit tanky already. And I've not got ult yet. It's fine in there. Gonna hit level 11 soon, that's pretty massive for Cat. Yeah, like, it almost doubles her base damage of our ult, it's pretty ridiculous. One of the old nerfs to Cat, they gutted her level 6 ult.
Like a massive montage of fails there, everything from everyone missed. Holy fuck. Still alive. Lee, I'll leave that away. I can push this into tower. Aced. Nice. And nice. This is a good example of how to keep relevant in the game. Like, you can't just talk too hard when Lee camps me that early. Camps me that hard that early. I keep looking to take advantage of all the small things like that. Buy pinks as well. Pinks are for clip. Don't think of pinks as just vision for you. Like the important thing is to deny vision to them. Like, that's the important thing about pinks. You can keep putting down pinks where you think they've put wards down, like double, almost like double as effective as normal ward. No, Malphite, please, my farm. I'll probably save my pink, but uh, that's dragon up again. But you see how crucial my warding was to that last fight. That last fight was all set up. Uh, well, not quite, not quite all set up. Them making some fucking more Valeras helped, but. Me having good vision everywhere, like, set a lot of that up. There you go, I mean, I've, I've just denied them any chance of taking this dragon from us by using the pink. Yeah, I generally don't like to help that much with objectives like Baron and Dragon or Cat. Your damage is so insignificant. I'd rather just stay healthy to be ready for a... Oh shit, let's crank, please. No, no, let's. <laughs> Only, I dare you. Oh, actually, I don't know. They've got their backup. <laughs> sure. I'll take it. No, my farm. How much gold do I need? No, 400 for our glass. Because I can. I think I'm gonna have to back before getting the hour glass. It's gonna back now. We've got a little bit of time while the minions are gonna push up there. Uh, it's kind of a risky back because I'm not going to help over there. But I don't think anyone else is going to go and support them. If Victor wasn't also low, well, low, had some help on him, I might follow him because he might have gone over to try and kill Rengar and Malphite. That's being good, I think. Oh shit, that's something I can do. Uh. Thank you, base scuffle grab. That's a good one, this way. Like, now how much farm I have. Um, I've got the most of my team. Oh shit, Rango. Doesn't have all. I like it. Ugh. 
slow. Okay. Only fools hesitate. Yeah, I'm doing quite a good job of recovering back into this game. Sorry, not had such an awful early game. It's worth noting I still haven't got mid turret, which is a bit of a deficit in gold, but it's so hard for me to get mid turret. Uh, nah, this rank isn't gonna get him. Um, this is the big decision here is third item, so I get void star. Um, I think I'll just see, I'll pick up. I don't know, it's a hard decision here. I do like getting an early void stuff on cat because they will so often stack magic resist. But we have got Rangar at the same time. I'm just going to push a turret. I'm not going to be able to help on that. I'm too far away to even start helping Lee. And just always remember to leave stuff like wards there. Like having a warding totem means you'll have so many rewards, and you can leave stuff like that what nice ward up there blue there. Like that might not do anything at the moment, but it could give some crucial information very soon. Let me see where Janna's moving. I get to see Janna's moving down now. Just little things like that. Now I'm gonna head up top because I'm greedy and want all the fun in the game. Ready for trouble. I can see the waves pushing quite steadily towards us, and we don't want that huge wave building up on the tower. That would give a good chance for Olaf to pressure us around Dragon Timer. Uh, if you look at the timings, you definitely want to keep this wave pushing towards them. And also note, Dragon isn't, Dragon isn't too close, so I have time to back and head over there. Ready for trouble. An enemy has been slain. Nice. I think I'm definitely going to get Void Star third item because Janna has a Ruby Crystal, which I think might be building towards an Aegis. And because Olaf and Lee are already heavily invested into Magic Resist. And Victor still has no Magic Resist whatsoever, so I'm already going to one shot him. I don't really need the Death Cap. Um, if Victor gets anywhere near me, I'll just destroy him. I don't need the Death Cap to kill him. But I do need the Void Staff to kill Lee and Olaf. Also, it's cheaper, it's an earlier power spike. Yes, Janna has measures, that's really good for us. You see, also with that wave management top, I managed to force Olaf to, to go top. Which opened us up for nice hooks. Hook plays mid without any resistance, and it also means he has to spend either ages walking over now, or oh, I, don't know. I think Ring can solo that. Yeah, you can solo it pretty easy. And it just gives us way more barrel pressure. So, so really, but I thought this is what this is what Hourglass can do. If I didn't have Hourglass. There's no way I should be chasing this. Oh wow, he still missed his E. Well, I should just I should just keep chasing this because it's unlikely for me to get any kills, but Oh oh shit. Yeah, I kinda I yeah, I fucked that up pretty hard. Yeah, Lee's so stupid fed. I thought with Hourglass I would easily tank all of his damage, but Uh, we've got to get Tower Bot in for it. Yeah, that was poor play by me. Looking back at that, I definitely underestimated Victor's damage, which is always a bad idea. He's stayed relevant with farm. He's probably been using that teleport to pick up lots of farm. And yeah, he's just does insane base damage. And Lee has bought a Hex Drinker, which uh, is more damage than usual you can expect from him. 
yeah, Caitlyn is like utterly worthless at this point. Like, she's a, Caitlyn isn't going to be scary until three or even four items. Void stuff for me, that is really good. I can actually. Ooh, Lee's going more damage. I will definitely be able to deal with Lee now I've got Void stuff. No going back. I can hit level 16 as well, that'd be a really nice power spike. Janna Giant spell? I have no idea what Janna is buying. That should have definitely been an 8. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, Victor hasn't got an hourglass for some reason. You definitely need an hourglass versus a decently fed Rengar. Rengar can hit down Bob off with me. Oh, crap. <laughs> we want to avoid a big, avoid a big team fight because. Oh. Nice. <laughs> sure, I was ready to flash help there, but Rengar just destroyed both of them. Oh, he's almost 17. He's picked up loads of farm. I really like the level 16. Cat skills so well with like old ranks. So much more damage from getting level 16. It's not as big as the 6 to 11 power spike, but it's still pretty huge chunk of damage. Okay, that's awful. <laughs> Not much to say on that one. That was me being terrible at the game. Yeah, Rengar's snowballed out of control. Is Lee gonna walk near the bush? I can't imagine that anyone for Elf of the end well there. Oh, he's got a nice rank. He's got the Rengar bird I like as well. He's got CDR runes and boots and mobility. I don't like boots and mobility on Rengar. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That Blitzcrank. Uh, he hasn't played badly, but he's an AD carry only player who just picked just picked Blitzcrank. Oh no! I didn't one shot him. We got the flash, so that's almost as good. Never play fair. Flash down means for the next crucial fight, like around the Dragon or Baron or something, if you want to have it. Oh, nice tanky Nisley. That's a bit ambitious, Rango. I want Rango to just run away now. I think he's going to get killed. I yep, 16. Very nice. No good. Let's set up wards in the jungle. This is what we need pinks. Um, if we had some pinks around here, that would be perfect. Because we got vision, but we haven't denied them vision, so they're not going to walk into the jungle either. Like, that's how you get picks. Like, if I was playing support, I'd be sweeping everything and going on loads of pinks up in their jungle at the moment. Yeah, we can just go dragon. Rengar's not up, but I don't think it should matter too much. We're playing 
Yeah, it's like over the dragon clip. Slain. That hasn't worked at all. That's off us from pressuring Baron if they instead. And killing Victor doesn't really give us much. We've got we can't really take any towers just because Victor died. We need our AD carry. Yeah, you'd hope Ramp can launch or someone being that dead. I think we need him to one shot more than one person. <laughs> he's got most. Of, he's got a lot of the gold in our team. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, now we can fight Baron. We just need Bane. Ooh, can I make a play here? Oh shit, that was awful. Kill one of them. That was. I don't know how I didn't kill Kate there. I sort of messed that up massively. That was a, should have been an easy kill. Let's clear the traps up in this. Ah, that's not that bad. Anger. What is Victor doing? Why would he walk out of his base like that? Okay, I think they must have just given up. Oh, well, yeah, Olaf has. I've not seen much of our plus use this time, but it's one of the re main reasons it's so good just to drop tower anchor. Unless you dive so much more aggressively as Death. Unless you be more aggressive than buying more damage like a Death Cap second item would. Like I'd, I'd never get Death Cap second item. I'd sometimes get Void Star second item, but I don't know, it's like a Galio or something. But I'd never buy a Death Cap second. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching. Should try and plan to do more of these videos. Seeing as I'm actually playing on Smurf, so I don't care too much about lag from videoing things. But it seems to have gone pretty smoothly this time. Anyway. Alright, thanks.